What's going on, Jerome's? We are back from outer space. That's right, man. And on this, uh, on Good Morning Football this week, uh, so I actually watched this in real time while on uh, at an undisclosed location, and I was just like, ooh. I love it, man. So Jamie Erdahl, a new host of Good Morning Football. She's fantastic. She's a Minnesotan. Uh, She's a Vikings fan through and through. And she came out and she brought the blowtorch. Like uh, she she brought the full on uh, to the Vikings and Kirk Cousins uh, this week. And it was pretty damn amazing. Well, she's saying what a lot of Vikings fans uh, have certainly said throughout the past and are are certainly saying right now. And as the Vikings are heading to a very interesting inflection off season for the Vikings and the quarterback position. Ah, it was just good to hear, man. So this is what she said. Uh, uh, she, she was talking about, uh, oh, you won the division. Oh, all, all, all this good stuff. Ooh, la da Uh, plant your flag in the North. That's great. Be division champs, be them all you want. Minnesota Vikings. Uh, can you make it to an NFC title game? Can you make it to a Super Bowl? Can you not lose in the first round of the playoffs again? Because Kirk Cousins, while I hope he does have the most competitive season in 2023, I'm not sure it necessarily means it has to be with the Minnesota Vikings. Ooh. Uh, They just chose not to extend. The report is he, Kirk Cousins, would have taken less money for more time. Kevin O'Connell said, no, we're we're good. Uh, We'll play this out. He's got $10 million coming due to him in 2023. What if he's not there? What if someone like Lamar Jackson uh, is someone that pushes the Minnesota Vikings over the edge? And uh, she continued to talk about how the Vikings have Justin Jefferson. They have this infrastructure. They have great leadership. And a guy like Lamar could be the straw that serves a drink uh, for the Vikings going forward now. Obviously, obviously, Kirk's a little bit bummed in this spot because respect. Uh, last year, he did have his best season of his career. Vikings won 13 games. Uh, he was tied for the most uh, fourth quarter game winning drives in NFL history. And overall, Kirk Cousins, like, it was you like that. It was absolutely you like that. But, I mean, how sustainable is this long term? How many years does he have of this long term since he is going to be 35 in August? And it's a valid question. And looking towards the future, could Lamar Jackson be that guy? I don't know if Lamar is necessarily the answer. I know that he would be a lot of fun to watch. I know that the Vikings, in an effort to make some moves, sending Kirk and uh, she also mentioned sending Zedaria Smith back to, back to Baltimore, which would be really funny. And some draft picks go get Lamar, who is 26, former, former NFL MVP. And sure, his style of play may not be conducive to playing into your mid-30s like some other quarterbacks, but you're going to have this window of three, four, five, six years where your offense and team is going to be one of the more dangerous teams uh, in the National Football League. And you can talk about, well, Jefferson won't want it. Lamar's never played with the with a receiver of the caliber of Justin Jefferson, and it may take some getting used to since Lamar and Kirk are certainly much different uh, types of quarterbacks, but Lamar also led the league in touchdown passes in 2019. I, I feel like there will be a way to make it work, so who, who knows? Or uh, do the Vikings just dive into the draft and go find a quarterback that route? I, I think that's probably more likely uh, at this stage uh, since uh, Quasey and Kevin O'Connell, like the, they know the value of having that young quarterback on their rookie deal. They know the value of having a guy who's coming into the league, not having any bad habits, not having to adjust uh, so you can uh, break him down and build him back up from the ground up. And I think that's the more likely scenario in this spot. I, I think what is more likely is that the Vikings will play it out with Kirk and then they'll go fish. They'll go find a quarterback in this year's draft that they're finding the guy that they want and then go from there but uh, i respect what, what jamie's putting out there because it's a frustration that a, a lot of Vikings fans have, and it's something that we've implored before. Don't let good be the enemy of great kirk was good last year kirk was very good last year but if you want to be great some things may have to happen mm, so again respect her take in this regard and also i, I love that she has uh, she had the fortitude to put it out there on national television. Also, she called out Kyle Brandt because Kyle Brandt was just like, so you're telling me that Kirk was blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, that was perfectly Minnesota nice, like passive aggressive. I love it. I love it, man. It was fantastic. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, the fantastic uh, Good Morning Football host, Jim Erdl, lights up Kirk Cousins. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and her thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.